Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie and I am here in the reflection suite on the Celebrity Reflection to give you a full tour and tell you all about the experience and share some things I did not see in other reflection suite tours. I'm so excited to take you along. Hopefully you're a subscriber so you've seen the other two videos in this series, the Celebrity Reflection ship tour and then my dining review because we ate in almost all of the restaurants on board. I think I sampled everything from the Sushi on 5 menu and I can't wait to tell you about it. So if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing. I share cruise ship tours, all-inclusive resort tours, and just tell you all about my travels all over the world. But let's get this tour started. So you come in, so you come down this long hallway that, and you'll enter in to your suite. Right to the right, you'll find the first bathroom. So this has its own standalone shower, sink, toilet, this is designed with two bedrooms, so you could bring friends with you. It does include all types of amenities, including shampoo, conditioner, body gel, and lotion. Across the way is the first bedroom. So this is kind of the smaller of the two bedrooms. You have a nice size television, the little desk area. I turned this into the Trips with Angie headquarters. And pro tip, these are three things I always take to the Caribbean, goggles, sunglasses, and an umbrella. That way it's kind of your own cheap snorkeling equipment that doesn't take up a lot of room. You have direct access out to the balcony, two bedside tables, and then your own closets. Now it would be hard to have a CPAP in here because there is only one North American plug. That is something I don't think is a great design feature. You have the two robes and your slippers and then another closet with shelves. So you have your own safe, laundry, you can send in laundry once a day. Um, so unlimited laundry here, which is awesome. You have a butler that helps take care of that. Now heading out into the main area of the suite, take a look at this. So I think you'll notice that the bedroom areas are kind of small when you think about a suite, but they really invested this space in here and I think it was the right choice. This is really a wow moment. You can see they decorated our little bar area for a birthday celebration. You have a sink and then all kinds of amenities. So you have a two bottles of liquor that you can specify in advance what you would like to have and then your own mini bar again customized to whatever you would like and then your own wine fridge so if there's a bottle of wine you'd like we are also we're keeping bottles of beer in here and they have a butler's pantry if you need more stuff so all the different kinds of glassware that's available and then backup items in case you need some more drinks. Next to that, you have another closet. Now, this is a clothes closet, and you're gonna ask, why do you need a clothes closet out here? Well, this is a sleeper sofa. So here are the life jackets and the clothes storage for the person sleeping on the sleeper sofa. I think this is such a nice choice because in a lot of suites that have a sleeper sofa, that person doesn't have their own space to store their belongings. This one is locked. So that's just for the steward. Next to it, you'll find a tea kettle and your Nespresso machine. So you can make your own coffees in the morning or your butler will bring you one. You have a dining table for 10 and every day your butler brings you snacks. We have an ongoing supply of chocolate chip cookies, potato chips, we've also gotten shrimp, cheese platters, fruit platters. The suite also includes unlimited room service on an upgraded and expanded menu. So here's what we had for breakfast. Over here, you're gonna find my favorite spot in the suite, well, one of two, and it's these great comfy leather chairs that have an incredible view. Right now we're in dock. Watching the ship pull into port is amazing from here, or just even sailing at night. And then you can see here's another closet for the person sleeping on the couch and extra robes if you need them. So coming around the table area, now I will say these statues can start to bounce a little bit when the seas get rough. We are all the way at the front of the ship. So I did notice more motion here than I would have in other cabins. So just keep that in mind. And then you have seating for six here. 
uh, a nice sized television. This is the sofa that pulls out and then you just get your daily updates about what's going on. Now, underneath the TV is where you can find a couple of things. So you can find uh, extra towels, blankets, and then the size has the indoor blankets. This crescendo, crescenda is kind of the headquarters, so where they'll leave notes and you can find your butler's information, steward's information, and this daily schedule. And then again, more laundry things for your daily laundry. Now heading in, heading into the primary bedroom, you see you have another desk area here with a number of drawers. You have your television, more drawers, and then the bed. We have an obnoxious amount of pillows on our bed, bedside table, and then you have a walk-in closet. So here's the walk-in closet. Again, your life jackets, a safe, your drawers, and then more space. These are kind of useless. They're pretty small, um, but we keep our cribbage board there. And then let's head into the bathroom. Now this is the thing that sold us on this suite is this incredible bathroom. So you have a beautiful bathtub in here. You can choose to face the view or face the television. And the remote is gonna be right in this little cabinet behind the door. It actually took us two days to figure out this was here. <laughs> You'll also find some additional amenities like a dental kit, um, your sanitary bags, and then extra storage down here if you need it. Coming in, you have your double sinks, hair dryer, a scale, and this incredible shower. So right now this is on the clear setting, so you can see out, and you'll notice this is a little bit see-through to going down. Um, so if you get a little nervous on those see-through walkways, I don't know that this is the shower for you and then you can hit the privacy setting and it fogs it over and it is highly mirrored from the outside here i'll show you that from the outside it just looks black so people really can't see in which is nice the other cool feature about the shower is the temperature control it's totally automated. You can preset it for your exact specifications. It can control the temperature as well as the pressure. There's two shower heads, the handheld and the overhead. And then you can see here, you can pick if you want just a lower flow, and then that will have it only come out of certain jets in the middle of the shower, or you can switch it and have it be the more intense <laughs> version where even more uh, of the shower head gets involved. So it's uh, a wider stream. And then this last one adds a little bit of pulse or a stronger flow. So everything's customizable. You can get it set to the exact temperature you want. It's so fun. Um, and then you can also save it if you wanted to. We didn't save our settings, but um, you can save it. You can also control the flow. So from 10 all the way down to zero, your totally customized shower experience. Celebrity art collection in your toilet of all the places in this suite to put these art pieces. They decided to put them in the toilet. I think that's so funny. All right. So we're going to head back into the bedroom because I want to show you something about the bed that no blogger mentioned when I was reviewing all of the reflection suite videos and that is in the drawer next to your bed you're gonna find a little remote and this remote controls your bed so you can lift the head so you see the heads coming up or you can lift the feet It's probably hard to see from the side here. So it's like a therapeutic bed, which I think is so fun. It also has massage, which basically means it just vibrates. Can you hear it purring? Yep, it vibrates. How cool is this? So fun. That was a surprise because we hadn't seen anybody else 
mention it. Now, heading out onto the balcony. You have your table and chairs. Now this is great because you can get delivery from any of the restaurants that you like. We had takeout sushi delivered. It was delightful. Um, then you also have the two more chairs, two chairs loungers, and then a really good sized cup. Both uh, my husband and I put on our swimsuits and sat in here and watched Sail Away the other day. So it's a good size. It does take about 30 minutes to heat up. And now I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the benefits of staying here. I already mentioned the unlimited specialty dining, including delivery to your suite, plus the upgraded room service menu and the butler. You have access to Michael's Club. This is a special lounge just for suite guests and includes basically a convenience store. You can come in and take these waters and sodas at any time. You also have a reserved alcove for you. Now these alcoves are located on the rooftop and it's a special cabana area with a chaise lounger, two chairs, a table. You also get a cheese plate and a fruit plate with your own waiter service. And this is a terrific spot to watch the three o'clock movie every afternoon and it's reserved especially for you. It's located right next to the lawn club. Lumine is the special dining room exclusively for sweet guests. It's open for breakfast and dinner every day, lunch on sea days. We really enjoyed the kale salad. We found the menu to be a level up from the main dining room and even aqua. They had delicious pasta dishes. This is their lobster roll. It does not compete with a real main lobster roll, but it was a pretty good try. The burger was delicious, but if you watched my food review, you know it wasn't my favorite on the ship. And then they had great appetizers like this was a tuna tartare. We had terrific soups. This was an Asian consomme with chicken. I absolutely loved the watermelon feta and kale salad. I also, I find it really hard to find kale on cruise ships, so this was a nice change. The fish, fish dishes were terrific. So did it live up to the hype? And the answer is yes. This is a phenomenal experience. You really feel like the ship is your playground. You have access to any restaurant you want, whenever you want. The butler service is impeccable. It is really incredible. Now, if you haven't been on a Celebrity Reflection before, I would consider doing what we did, which was we booked a back-to-back -back where the first week we were in a regular balcony and then we moved to the Reflection Suite the second week. So we got to explore the ship, try the included dining, hang out in some of the bars and restaurants, because once we got into that reflection suite, we didn't want to leave. Oh, and watch out for my next celebrity ship tour, the Celebrity Ascent. It just so happened to be Dr. Cross from us when we pulled back into Fort Lauderdale. What do you think? Would this be worth it to you? Let me know in the comments, and here are some videos that YouTube and I thought you might like.